Okay, let's do a few more true or false questions for the topic of rank and the number of solutions of a system of linear equations. The first scenario says a system of linear equations with four equations and four variables whose coefficient matrix has rank four is always consistent. Consistent means it always has a, as a, as a solution. But for us, checking these things means that we have to check it, what is the rank of the coefficient matrix, which here is given, it is equal to 4. We need to know what is the rank of the A, B, if we add the right hand side. And uh, what if these two are equal, then we are done. These two are equal, then we, can, we, we don't need to be worried about anything. It will be consistent. How about the rest of the information here given? So here, number of variables of the system is equal to number of columns of uh, A, the coefficient matrix, and number of equations is number of rows of A. So what else is given is that A is 4 by 4, and AB, we added one column, it will be 4 by 5. Okay, very nice. So these are all the information given. Now uh, we have to decide, okay, what could be rank of AB? We know that if we add a column to a matrix, the, the rank can go at most one up because that column can on, only have a new leading one uh, when we draw reduce it. So it can be either rank of a or rank of a plus one in not in this case this can be either four or five so this is in general without any other condition or any other things there but uh can it really be five can it really be five well why should i be worried about being five or not because you see rank of any matrix any matrix is uh less than equal less than equal to the number of rows and number of columns because at the end, you're going to count the number of uh, leading ones. The number of leading ones cannot go beyond the number of rows and number of columns. Here, this guy has four rows. So the, the rank of AB cannot be five. So though in general, we can have one more rank when we add the column. But in this case, we cannot. So these two guys with these, this scenario are going to be equal both of them are going to be four and then as a result we have consistent you can go a little bit four here the number of columns here is equal to uh four so then all three is uh, equal so not only we can say it is going to be consistent also it is going to have a unique solution solution Okay, let's read the second scenario. Uh, system have five equations. So this is number of rows uh, of A and four variables. So this is number of columns of A. The, the, the coefficient matrix, so rank of A is four. This is given. Okay, so what else we need to know? We need to know what is a rank of a b. We already know this has five by four, five by four. Oh, sorry. Uh, we added one more column to this, so this is going to be five by five. Okay, so we added one column. First thing to note is that this can be either four or four plus one, uh, which is five can it be five well is there anything preventing us 
having five uh, as rank of a b well a b has five rows and five columns and there is no other thing that can prevent this guy to have rank five so a b can have rank equal to five to five and that means that there might be cases that rank of a is four rank of uh, a b is five so that means that then we can have we can have inconsistent uh systems with the above information above information okay so this means that this guy is going to be false the previous guy was true but this one is going to be false okay the third one is very similar in some ways so we have four equations so a is a four by five its rank is given it is four and with the arguments we already have uh, so we we presented in the case one you can see that this a b which in general can be four or five in this case cannot be five because rank of a a b or any matrix needs to be less than equal to number of rows of a b here this is the number of rows of a b is four so that means that five cannot happen so um, system with these uh, information uh, is going to have rank of a equal to rank of a b so that means that it is going to be consistent so this is going to be true you can go further uh, um, a bit more uh, ahead and then see that okay this guy is going to have uh, five variables so it means that the number of columns of of a is going to be equal to five so this is rank of a is equal to rank of a b but the rank the number of columns of a is bigger than these numbers so that means that this is consistent and has infinitely many solutions so that's what we can determine based on these informations okay so this were another set of uh, true or false questions you have to always be able to work with these things and determine three things column uh, rank of a b rank of a and try to see in which one of these um, different cases the scenario fits